Hi guys, it's Laura Cat here. Um, today I'm playing Roundabout. So this is, a, it's like a 70s B-movie themed game. Um, it's by a, a developer called No Goblin. And um, yeah, it's basically a, a game where you kind of drive a limousine around. Um, it has FMV elements, I think, which should be like incredibly cheesy and really cool. Um, yeah, so, and apparently they recommend playing with a controller, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm going to jump in and see what it's like. Should be pretty funny. Hi there. Uh, Gio Rigio Manus. Meet Giorgio Manus, the world's first revolving limousine driver. Oh, you're playing a chick. That's cool. Great. Well, I'll be the instructor for your limousine operator's test, so just keep things straight and quick, and this will be over. <laughs> straight <safety>. and quick. <laughs> See inside Georgia's head. See, there's only one way this chauffeur drives. Okay, I have to drive like and a crazy person. I can do this. Giorgio never oh. stopped revolving. As Whoa. kid, Giorgio learned to move with his <laughs> crazy. People with small arms and Oh my god. Nothing could stop Giorgio from twisting and turning. Well, except for I exploded slam posts. Oh, okay. Things taller than a limousine. Oh my gosh. But against everything, Oh my god, this is really hard. <laughs> Complete the driving test. Okay. Alright, oh, okay. Am I allowed to hit people? Oh my god, I just killed a lot of oh, a lot of people. <laughs> I almost missed one. Can't let that happen. Stop here at the DMV gate. Well, I guess you passed. <laughs> You're giving me a license? After every ride. With a little oh. license, the world was Giorgio's oyster. Passengers everywhere. Who came up with this idea? Evolution in transportation. Okay, so what do I do? Pick up Mickey the mechanic. Mickey. Mickey the mechanic. I've never seen anyone drive. She's pretty quiet. At the DMV. Can you show me some more? I need a ride to my shop down the block. Okay. Do we have to be fast as well? Oh god. This is really, really hard. Ah, is this going to blow up again? Is it okay to kill people? Oh, okay. Maybe, but it's not okay to blow up. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. I'm getting a feel for this. Okay. All right. Okay. No, 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 Take it slow. Am I going the right way? Did I go past where I was supposed to be? Oh, why is the arrow taking me back this way? Oh, am I going the wrong way? No, it said to go. This spinning. Thing All right, I was going the wrong way. Oh god. All right. Yeah, I think I was making it harder on myself by going on the going the wrong way. <laughs> And that way, I wasn't yes. hitting any of the, um, the checkpoints. Okay, see, this is actually much easier. Okay, yeah, I definitely made it harder on myself. Look, if you ever want to take on the city, just come back to me. Hell, I'll even help you out with parts. Aww. You kid, we could go all the way. The acting in this, amazing. Okay, okay, you just met me, it's a little weird. But kid, seriously. Think about it. I'll be right here at the garage. <laughs> I like the grease stains all over his face. I guess maybe I can go to these stars. There's one like right here. Oh, there's a star like right there. What is it? Like right there. Like literally right there. Oh, pick up the kids. Someone's going to trust me with their kids. Hi, driver. I'm sorry. My car is stuck at this stupid mechanic and my kid is late for school. Can you give her a ride there? Thanks. What kind of language, insane person would trust me with their kids? On that adorable lunch kit, Giorgio knew they needed to make a detour. Also, who sends their kid to school in a limo? She's like, to school or something like that. I wasn't really paying attention. Oh, no, no, no. Let's <laughs> Oh, God. 
Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> now, <laughs> did I pick him up? Oh, look, I got some money from somewhere. Where do I go now? Behind there. Do I go behind here? Did I miss it? Oh, was I supposed to stop in there? Oh, God. Oh, I was. Okay. Oh, awesome. I'm just supposed to, like, knock all this shit over. Yay! Alas, all good things must come to an end. Giorgio needed to get these fights on his Thank you. Hold up either the left trigger or the right trigger to speed up. Oh, okay. I can like Lego. Whoa. Whoa. They shouldn't have told me that. Yeah. <laughs> now I can crash even faster. Do I get extra points for killing people? Or is it just, just for the fun of it? I love that you, um, you really don't get penalised. I mean, unless you care about points and chili kids, but you really don't get, if you're just having fun, you really don't get penalised very much for, um, for crashing, for blowing up the limo, which is good, because it means you can just kind of have fun with it. <laughs> But that she is, is more, it, like, it is fun. Oh, God, 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 okay. Damn, I'm good. Gee, kids, know how many times I blew you up. Update your limo's look. Drive to a purple wrench. Customize. Hats? I can put a hat on my limo. Horns and paint. Horns would also be pretty cool. Oh, I guess it's horns like a beep beep. I thought I was going to have like horns <laughs> on my limo. Because <laughs> I followed on from natural like hat. Okay, horns. But yeah, it's probably like the beep beep kind of horn. All right. All right. So, oh my God, I can put stacks of cash on it. That's pretty cool. How much money do I have? Oh, I have $14. Yeah, I can't afford to put stacks of cash on it. I can put, I guess, $14 worth of cash on it. I can buy... Oh, um, cardboard boxes. Or a donut. I like donuts. Everybody loves donuts. All right. So my choice, what I can afford is between cardboard boxes or the slightly more expensive giant donut. I'm going to go with the donut. Because I want my limo to look classy. Oh, yeah. Who's Elizabeth? Giorgio was beginning to get the hang of this limo. The limousine was the higher thing. Well, little did Giorgio know that a curveball was about to land in the back seat. Thank you, thank you. Are you here, Giorgio? Oh, thank goodness you're here. I'm running a little behind. You see, Julia's wedding is at 11, not 1, so we need to book it. Let's go, Giorgio. Book it. I like the uh, silent protagonist thing. I thought it was weird at first, but. I think I'm getting pretty good at this. Whoa. Oh, god damn it. Why do I say these things? Why do I jinx myself? Oh, God. I feel like we can have a name with, like, donut in it or something, you know, like doing donuts and there's a donut on the car. It's got to be something there. Yeah. 
Yeah. Nice. So <laughs> Lipstick. <laughs> Is she pick, trying to pick us up? It kind of seems like she's trying to pick us up. Okay, hey, having so many uniforms. Whoa, she is now. definitely trying to pick us no, up. Right? I don't know if you can really call what Giorgio is wearing a uniform. Oh, we're friends now, Beth. I'm, like she seems to be wearing like one of those seventies, like cheesy prom outfits with you know the the baby blue and the ruffles and. I don't know if you can really call that a uniform. There we go. Nice. Pick up the priest. We appear to have something of a problem. I'm meant to be joining two people in holy matrimony, but we appear to be missing the groom. We must fetch him post haste. Oh, this must be the wedding that um Beth was going to. She said she was going to a wedding, right? Oh, I knew this would be a bad one. This gentleman said something anyway. I wasn't really listening to her. Such a shame. The bride is such a peak. Until she started flirting with me. And I was like, whoa. Whoa, lady. Okay, so we're chasing down this group. Yeah, we're actually literally. Are we like kidnapping this guy? What the fuck? Oh, he's hung over. I thought my brain was going to much more sinister places. I thought he was like drugged. I dropped this wreck off in front of the church, and you dropped me off at the bus stop up north. Sound reasonable? Oh, don't give me that judgmental stare. Would you marry these two if you were in my shoes? Well. Dude's passed out, well, so. I had a good run, I reckon. I'm pretty sure you can't agree to marriage when you're passed out. It's like a contract, right? Holy crap, look how good I am at this. Ooh. Skills right there. <laughs> why? Why do I always jinx myself? Oh, God. Can I bash into this car? Oh. For some reason I thought because the car was moving I'd be able to like destroy it. Because I'm in a limo, I should be able to do some, some damage. I don't even know if I'm going the right way. Ronaldo. Bonjour, Giorgio. Bonjour. No, no. I will not be riding with you today. I am, how you say, watching from afar. I have heard really? about a new driver with a certain je ne sais quoi. Care to show your magics? Man, everyone wants to on Georgia. It's the suit. Change directions. <laughs> Whoa, that was pretty cool. Why is he, why is his voice in my taxi? It's very, very creepy. Very creepy. Okay, so I'm giving up for tonight. <laughs> um, but I'm actually really enjoying this game. Um, I feel like, I just looked in the menu, it says I'm 4.4% complete. So it's really still very early on in the game. Um, and I feel like they are going to develop the story. It feels like it's starting to go somewhere with the whole wedding and 
Bess, who's running late for the wedding and was like, definitely, definitely flirting with us. I'm also really curious to see where they take it with this, uh, this mysterious guy who's like talking to us somehow from inside our car. Um, so I actually feel like they're developing the story and they're going to start to like bring characters together maybe. Uh, it's just a hunch. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of intrigued and the gameplay is actually quite fun. I don't know if, um, I think it's, I mean, it's a, you know, it's a gimmick. So I think it's quite possible it will actually start to, um, you know, start to like get a bit samey after a while if I'm only kind of 4% through. But I don't know, like I think the, the story is kind of interesting. It might be one of those games where, um, you know, I wouldn't play it all in one sitting, but I'll, um, you know, pick it up, play like, it actually is quite relaxing. So it, it like, and it feels like it shouldn't be because you're crashing all the time. Um, sometimes in games that just becomes stressful. But in this game, I don't know, like the consequences for crashing aren't really that bad. Like when you crash, well, I guess well, you just go back to the, the previous checkpoint. I guess the, um, the difficulty will get harder. Um, but even so, it actually feels like a game you can kind of like pick up and play for like, you know, 20 minutes, half an hour, an hour, um, you know, and it might be a nice kind of chill out after work or, you know, just kind of a, a relaxing game. But I like that it has that story element as well. That has me intrigued. Um, so, yeah, I'm actually definitely going to keep playing this game. Um, I recommend it. It's um, really not very expensive on Steam. Um, yeah, so it's Roundabout by No Goblin. Um, cool. And yeah, if, if you enjoyed this video, go pick it up. Um, cool, I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.